This is the 10 simplex, a geometric shape that offers a glimpse into the 10th dimension. Let's see if we can draw it. All right, so we're gonna need a circle, a pretty big circle. And I gotta divide that into 11, which is never easy. Put a mark there, come over here, put another mark down there, and then I've got my compass there on that point, open it up to this mark here, then I can go from there and cross the horizontal line. And that distance from here to here should be the size we need to divide the circle into 11. And then I'll go from there to this bit on the right and just work my way around the circle. And it should hopefully be dividing it up evenly. I'll go back to the start and then I'll do it across the bottom as well. And then we can test that, see how accurate it is. Go from there. Oh yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's pretty close. Pretty close. All right, so I guess that's the hard bit out the way. And then I just got to connect all of these points. So every single one of these has to connect to every other one with a straight line. So let's just go straight to pen and do that. So I've got to remember that this one and this one are not parts of the division. Maybe I'll get rid of them just so I don't get confused. So I'll start with the ones on the outside. At this point, I don't even know if everything's going to line up. Just got to see what happens. As I was drawing this, I was thinking about other dimensions. The 10th dimension is pretty hard to wrap my head around. Essentially, it's the dimension where anything and everything is possible. Anything you can think of is happening in the 10th dimension. But I think it's so far away that I can never fully understand it. And, and I doubt anyone else can either, like fully understand it because is made up of things that we can't understand, things that we can't even imagine, things that if we saw them in our dimension, they just wouldn't make any sense. It's a bit easier to understand dimensions that are closer to ours, like the fourth and the fifth. Like the fourth dimension is time and we can kind of see time on a one dimensional level. I mean, you can't see it, but you can feel it. You can, you can grasp it. But you know what I was thinking? You know when something freaky happens, like you have a premonition, maybe in a dream. This happens a lot to me. Like, I'll dream of something, then the next day, that exact thing happens. Or maybe not exact, but impossibly similar to be a mere coincidence. Or things like deja vu. You know, you just feel like time or history is repeating itself. Or you mentioned to someone something that happened to you a long time ago, then all of a sudden it happens again. All of these bizarre synchronicities seem like a glitch in the matrix, but what if it's just something happening in a higher dimension and we just don't have the brain power or the understanding to make sense of it? And if that's the case, then there must be a way to control it, or at least just to make sense of it. <laughs>